Hey everybody, I am Paul Krismanitz and this is your Next Generation Update. I mentioned in church last week that I'd been really digging into the Psalms and praying about, thinking about what I was going to do for kids' church, it just came to me. Wouldn't it be awesome to not only teach on the Psalms, but also to have each kid write their own Psalm? And I just, you know, sometimes ideas seem so good, they got to come from the Lord. And uh, so I ran with it. And, you know, when I was a kid, I would read the Psalms a little bit. I just didn't get it. I, I didn't know why they were important. They seem kind of weird to me because guys are spouting off like, let's kill enemies. I wish you'd judge the wicked people. Uh, a lot of complaining. And there's a lot of glorious stuff in there too. And then there's the prophetic stuff. And I just didn't get it as a kid. And to be truthful, nobody ever told me anything about the Psalms, how to understand them. They just would say that they were praise songs to the Lord and we should enjoy them for that. That's all well and good, but the truth is the Psalms are so much more than that. They are so valuable. They, they've become one of my favorite parts of Scripture. And as a kid, I, I looking back, I wish somebody had communicated to me more about the Psalms. Well, later in life, the first uh, time I ever read anything that really helped me understand the Psalms was C.S. Lewis's book, Reflections on the Psalms. That book completely opened up my mind to what is going on in that book, to uh, those 150 Psalms, how they're all different but beautiful and how they communicate so much. But what Lewis did so well and what I believe now is that the Psalms really are about man's process with the Lord. You know, God is not afraid of our process. He's not afraid of us being angry or upset or discouraged and bringing that to him. And the Psalms are so beautiful because most of them written by David are, you know, we know David was a man after God's own heart. Well, what we see there is David was not perfect. That didn't mean David was always in the right state of mind. Didn't mean he always was just teaching perfect theology. It meant that he was always bringing everything before the Lord and letting the Lord correct him and bring him back. Uh, so I told the kids about this, and I told the kids that the Psalms are about man's process. So not every phrase in the Psalms is meant to be theologically taken as a statement. There's some things David says, Moses says, the other kings who wrote say that, frankly, are not theologically accurate calling down fire on people, calling down judgment. We know that's not accurate because Jesus rebukes the disciples, James and John, for doing exactly that. We know that we're never alone. God never forsakes us. Even though in the Psalms, sometimes David asks, God, why have you forsaken me? Why have you abandoned me? The truth is the Psalms are true because we feel those things sometimes and we need to bring them before the Lord. And what I love about the Psalms is that in some of them, they'll complain, they'll rant, they'll rave, they'll say what's really going on in their heart. They'll lay it before the Lord, but then they start correcting themselves. They start coming back. And then they, by the end of the Psalm, they're like, God, you are glorious. We are so thankful for what you've done for us. We know you will come through again. And that's what it's all about. It's about that process of starting with our emotion and how we feel and letting God, processing that with the Lord. What I was telling the kids in this is that it's so important to process with God. It's so important to release that instead of holding on to it. You know what religion will teach you? Religion will teach you that you have to suppress your emotion, that it's unholy to be emotional because it's lesser than God. Well, the truth is we can't control our emotions like that. We can only control what we do with our emotions. And so if our emotion is feeling something that we know is not true, we need to process that before the Lord. One of the best things anybody ever said to me was when I was at school and a pastor, I was going through a real hard time. And I actually, the night before, I'd, I'd just been yelling at the Lord in my prayer time. And I was, I literally was just angry at God because I couldn't understand what I was going through. And the pastor that morning in our little group for school, about 50 people, he said, we were praying and he said, I feel like the Lord's saying to somebody, I don't care if you yell at me. I don't care if you stop curse or if you curse at me, anything. I just want you to be close to me and not stop talking to me. 
That was powerful. He didn't know it, but I needed to hear that in that moment. That was for me. And so it allowed me to process that with the Lord and know that the Lord wasn't angry at me or disappointed me because I had a hard day. And it allowed me to process and get back to the right place. That I held on to later in life when I went through a major depression that lasted almost six months. Through that time, I found it hard to read my Bible. I found it hard to believe in the promises of the Lord. But I held on knowing that God, I would just let stuff out. I, I would feel something and let it out and I'd be mad at the Lord. Sometimes I did cuss at him. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying I processed it and I had permission to process it. And because of that, I got through it in six months and I never lost my connection with the Lord and I got to a much, much better place. And I've been able to stay in that place since and that was years ago. The Psalms are like that. They are a reflection of permission to process. So we had the kids do that and it was awesome. I just want to say that when I say that there's certain things in the Psalms that might not be true, it's not that they're not truth. They are truth. They represent what humans go through. All of the Bible is truth. But we have to understand its context, especially when we're dealing with books like Psalms, Ecclesiastes, books that really are about humans processing through our own logic and emotion and not through the wisdom of God. Anyways, the kids wrote out their Psalms. A couple of them were really touched. And I, I don't know what the fallout was from that. I hope they went home and uh, others were touched as well that I didn't recognize in the moment. But it was a wonderful time, and I hope your kids got some out of it. I hope they realize at a young age, something I wish I had realized, that they can process before the Lord. And that, and in that, they will grow closer to Him and have a stronger bond when they are adults than we did. And they won't have to go back and undo a lot of that suppressing. They will have released it in the moment. And that is my hope, to bring up healthy kids, kids that are so connected to God, there's no doubt. No one can deter them and that they don't have the issues, the, the weights, the burdens that we had growing up. And that's what the Psalms are really all about. So take that permission, process your emotion before the Lord, and find freedom and a deeper relation with Him in doing so. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful week. 